Oi everybody, Juliana here. Welcome back to Bake Cooks Travel. Today is a very special episode because I will be making two big reveals. If you already follow me on Instagram, you know that I have a special little bun baking here inside of my belly. Yeah, I'm gonna be a mama and soon you will see my belly showing more and more here in the kitchen. Today I will show you how I made my own baby reveal chocolate bomb cake without finding out about anything and how you can do yours too. It's a very fun cake topped with the baby reveal chocolate bomb, ready for the big moment. It's a super easy vanilla buttermilk cake with a vanilla buttercream frosting, raspberry and blueberry layered fillings to give it the super cute baby colors, and decorated with handmade edible balloons, and of course, topped with a golden mystery baby reveal chocolate bomb. And if you stick around to the end of this video, you can be a part of my big review and find out who I'll be expecting in a few months' time. Into your mixing bowl, add 250 grams of unsalted butter and 400 grams or 2 cups of sugar. Mix it until it's creamy and has a nice lighter color. Meanwhile, mix together 480 grams or 2 cups of flour. 2 teaspoons of baking powder and 2 teaspoons of salt. Back to the sugar and butter mixture, add 4 home temperature eggs. Add 2 at a time, combining them with 4 teaspoons of vanilla paste or 2 tablespoons of vanilla extract. When it's all combined, add the dry ingredients in three parts, alternating with 555 milliliters or two and a half cups of buttermilk. Add the buttermilk in two parts. Make sure the buttermilk is also at room temperature. Mix everything over medium speed just until it first combines for each addition scraping down the ball in between. On the last addition, you can let it mix a bit more until all the flour is nicely combined. Pour the dough into three 60-inch cake pans, oiled in with parchment paper. Weigh then so you know the equal. About 650 grams each. Tap them on the table to get them even. Bake your cakes for 40 to 50 minutes until the cake stick comes out clean. Let the cakes cool down completely before removing from the pan and cutting. For this cake, I'm using the exact same vanilla buttercream recipe from my Christmas cake video. For the fillings, I made a white brigadeiro and added the two different fruit flavors. So into a medium or large pan, add one can of condensed milk, usually 300 grams, 50 grams of cream, a good pinch of salt, and a half a teaspoon of vanilla paste or extract. Cook the brigadeiro until very thick, over low to medium heat. The key here is to never stop stirring. When ready, it will be very thick, coming out from the bottom of the pan. Remove it from the heat immediately and add into a bowl. Brigadeiro can be very sweet, so to cut some of the sweetness, I like to mix it with a pastry cream. I usually go 50-50 with brigadeiro and pastry cream. You can find the recipe for the pastry cream in my eclair video, find the link in the description below. But if you want to use all brigadeiro, just make sure to make this recipe size it twice to replace the cream. Split the brigadeiro in two equal parts. Now that the flavor you want. I will be using strawberry jam and blueberry jam, so I can have a pink and blue color for the gender reveal. I also add a blue and pink gel food color to bring those cute baby colors. I just use it two tears of each. 
Try to use the thick jams with not too much water so your fillings won't be runny and with less sugar than normal so the filling won't be so sweet. Bring them to the fridge to firm up. For assembling the cake, cut the domes on the cakes and trim the edges. Cut the cakes right in half so you have equal layers. Add a wet paper towel on the bottom of the cake tray and some buttercream on it to stick the cake. Brush the layers with simple syrup, equal parts of water and sugar. Add all buttercream and fillings into piping bags with the same size around the tip. Pipe the buttercream on the edges, making two layers. Add one of your fillings into the circle. Using a spatula, spread lightly the top of the buttercream and the filling. This will make even layers. Also, the buttercream coming out a bit will help to mask the cake later. Repeat these steps with every layer and make sure to alternate those fillings. You will have beautiful layers of blue and pink when you cut the cake. After they're all done, do a first mask on the cake, a crumble mask. You can use some wood sticks to help to hold the cake. You don't need to worry about being perfect on this step, just cover it well with the buttercream to stop it from crumbling. I like to use a small and big spatula for this part. You can use what's more comfortable for you. Place the cake into the fridge for about 5 minutes or until the buttercream is firm. Bring it back and finish masking the cake with a thick layer, making it all even. For the last mask, I like to use a cake scraper the same size of the cake, so I can easily smooth it out. Try to get it as even as possible. I also like to place it back into the fridge one more time if I see any bubbles. You can fix them by heating the scraper with some hot water from the tap or you can torch it while you're smoothing the cake to get rid of the bubbles. I added some colorful sprinkles on the bottom of the cake to give it that cute and fun baby vibe.
So for the baby gender surprise, I made chocolate bombs with a ganache filling. For the basic steps, check out my how to make incredible chocolate bombs video in the description below. For these bombs, I made them with white chocolate so they will match with the fruit flavors. But you can also use dark or milk chocolate, depending on your cake flavors. Brush the bombs using golden chocolate powder. For the ganache, I just use two parts cream to one part chocolate. Bring the cream to almost a boil and pour it over the chocolate. Let it rest for 5 minutes and then stir from the middle to the edges, gently until well combined. This way we have a more liquid ganache, which gives us the flow we need to come down on the cake. Use a blue and pink food coloring to make the baby colors you desire. Use a hot plate, you can heat it in the microwave. You also need a little cup that you can place the bomb on top. Melt the edge of one half of the bomb and add into the cup. Melt it slightly to seal the bomb. Fill the half of the bomb with one of the ganaches using a piping bag with a very small cut. And seal with the other half, also melted on the edge. Use a spoon to help sealing. Give a little shake to check for any non-sealed parts. Brush again with golden powder to make sure any missing parts are covered. As you finish, make sure to add something to recognize each bomb. I'm using little bowls. Once my baby review chocolate bombs were ready, I added them into bags for cookies with the gender colored bowls taped on top. Then you can put it in a nice box to give it an amazing presentation. In order to keep this all a secret, we got the doctor to write the gender down in a sealed envelope that we couldn't look in. I also had an extra bag. For decorations, I just made some mini balloons using white, pink and blue candy melts using the same method as the bombs. I also brushed them with golden chocolate powder so they have the same effect of the others. Use some buttercream to attach the balloons on the cake. I used some chocolate flavor candy melts for the balloons cords. Everybody, today is the gender reveal. So, as I showed you before, we had the two balls, the two chocolate balls in this box. We asked for our neighbor, she kept the right one, the gender. She looked the envelopes and she, she kept the right one here for us. So, I have the right one here, and the one that we don't need, it's here. All you need to do is to get someone to look inside the envelope. Put the wrong gendered bomb in the extra bag and leave the right gendered bomb in the box and then remove the bowls and give it back to you to put on the cake. So now I'm gonna finish decorating the cake and we're gonna find out. Add the chocolate bomb on top of the cake, close it to the edge so the filling will easily fall down and show the gender when torched. Place the sealed part of the bomb facing slightly down. More balloons on top. 
and I added some buttercream decoration to give it an extra cute look. It's also important to keep your cake in the fridge before the reveal. So guys, I decided to give these moments for my husband, for him to find out. So he's gonna um, use the torch and the ball. So everything is always about the mom and baby, so the dad is sometimes a little forgotten. So I decided to give it to him. So you're gonna see his hand doing that, okay? When using the torch, heat the sealed part so it melts easily without burning. Although some it's fine. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth, folks. What's it gonna be? As you can see, we started on the top. It should be on the mid of the bump. Holy smokes, look at that. That's a boy. It's a boy. That's a boy. A bambino. Bambino. <laughs> and that's it. Get the most exciting and beautiful surprise of your life. I hope you like this recipe and make your own for your special day. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Ciao! Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to drop a like here. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe here. On Bake Cook Travel, we always bring the best food adventures and food recipes. If you'd like to see more food recipes, click here. And for more food adventures, click here. See you in the next video.